from manta ray, eagle ray and stingray. This species of stingray is called the pink tail whip ray. The pink coloration on the skin and the elongated tail. The tail can grow up to three times the size of its body. And this species of ray will live to 25 years old. We also have with us baby little black tip reef sharks. We don't feed the sharks, it's extremely dangerous. What can happen is sharks can associate humans as a source of food. And when we don't present the food, that's when they can attack. That's my friend Raymond, he's a little more fish. So sharks and rays actually share a common family. We can almost call them cousins. This family are called elasmobranchs. Now elasmobranchs are defined as cartilaginous species. That means they're made from the same material as our noses and our ears. All other fish species are called teleos, which means true bone. And it's made out of the same skeletal material as we are. In fact, what they have are scale-like teeth. These are called denticles. These denticles prevent seaweed and parasites such as barnacles from growing on the surface of their skin. We look at large cetaceans like the blue whale and the humpback whale. They have barnacles and seaweed growing on them. That's because they don't have these denticles. Now, rays, unlike sharks, also have a mucus layer covering the surface of their skin. This mucus layer protects them from scratches, bacteria and viruses.
Now, the common characteristic of a stingray is to sting, also known as a barb. The barb is located at the base of the tail and has serrations going down either side. The barb also contains a very powerful neurotoxin and cardiotoxin. It's not fatal to humans if we're stung by a stingray. However, it's extremely painful and it can last up to 72 hours. 